well we have many people who want to share with you about what God has done so uh, we're not gonna take any delay if we can have our first one come up okay can you tell us your name where you're from Angela and Olive here Tri Cities and can you tell us what is the healing that you received about two weeks ago I got shin splints from track so I've been having excruciating pain in my shin and now that when Pastor Vlad said to put your hand where it hurt in your body where it hurt, I put my hand there and I believed and now there's no more pain. So this happened just tonight? Yes, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And can you demonstrate for us right now something that you couldn't do before but you can do now? Um. Amen, let's put our hands together for wonderful Jesus. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll have our next testimony. Okay, let's get closer. <laughs> can you tell us your name, where you're from? Well, my name is Queech Queech, and I'm from the Tri-Cities. And can you tell us what is the testimony you have to share with our lovely people tonight? Well, it started like about five years ago when I was in high school. Like, I used to like love sports, and um, I was in track, and I, I pretty much had knee problems, and uh, I couldn't really run, so I had a, the, doc the doctor prescribed me like um, a knee sleeve on both my knees. So it, it kind of killed the vibe for me, and um, I couldn't really run my hardest, and I just had to wear a knee sleeve. And I pretty much lost my knee sleeve, and I just said, forget it. And then afterwards, um, yesterday, when Pastor Vlad told us to, to pray for a certain part of your body uh, that needs healing, I started uh, touching my knees, and uh, I just started praying and just believing that God is going to do something mighty. And then next thing you know, like, I just started standing up afterwards, after we got done with the prayer, and like, my knees felt fine, like 100% healed, and I was just happy. Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus. And can you demonstrate for us right now, Guich, something you can do now that you couldn't do before? Stand back. <laughs> Woo, let's put our hands together for wonderful Jesus. Thank you so much. Okay, come forward. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's exciting when you receive your healing. Nothing is more exciting than that when you can share and testify about the goodness of God in your life. So can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Katrina and I'm from Kennewick. And can you tell us the testimony that you have to share with these people tonight? Oh boy, I am a bit nervous. Okay. Um, well, I had my wisdom teeth pulled out February 17th and trying to make a long story short, um, I had those taken out and it was swollen and then it got kind of better but then as um, I went to work came back home from work then this side was so swollen and I went to the doctor they said nothing was wrong and I knew that there was something was wrong so I went back to the doctor and there was an infection and the doctor said if you don't have emergency surgery um, today and you go home right now you will die and I got the emergency surgery and everything was fine. And then um, last night, um, the healing prayer and everything like that, um, I put my hand right here. I had a little bit of pain, but it was like a grinding. I kept grinding my teeth. And so now from that healing prayer last night, I don't grind my teeth anymore. I can open my mouth. And that's something you couldn't do before? Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Okay, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? I'm Serge from uh, Sacramento. Wow. Yeah. Very far away. He's come. <laughs> far away. Okay, can you please tell us the testimony that you have to share with us tonight? Yeah, so basically um, last night, uh, actually yesterday morning, after we got, uh, came into town, um, uh, I started to get like a, like a pain in my right side. And um, I thought it would just go away, but it kept getting worse and worse. And um, I'm, a, I'm a person who overthinks things. And um, I, someone told me that like pain in your right side means appendicitis. And I, I was like, you know, that was getting me worried. And I was like, man, I came over here to have like a great time to be blessed, you know, by Jesus. And like this worrying and this pain, is just gonna ruin it for me, you know? But um, when Pastor Vlad told us to pray, um, I just, um, I, you know, I, I prayed with full faith, and I was like, you know, just, it just, it just, the pain left, and in that moment, God healed me, not only from that pain, but uh, also from my anxiety, from that worrying, you know, God uh, destroyed that glass in my mind, you know. <laughs> amen, amen.
let's put our hands together for Jesus. Awesome. What an awesome testimony. Okay, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? I'm Andre Melnick and I'm from Tri Cities. And please tell us the testimony that you want to share with these people tonight. Uh, about two and a half years ago, uh, when I was climbing down a ladder, I slipped about two feet off the ground and landed bad on my ankle. And uh, ever since, like it, like it hurt to uh, like walk or run. But like a couple months later, when CS off the group was here, he prayed for me, and uh, the pain went away. I could run, walk without any pain. But but still, when I st stood in one place for like about 15 minutes or so. The pain would start to return, and uh, yesterday, when uh, we prayed, the pain started to go away, and then today, just all gone. Wow, amen, amen. What an awesome testimony. Thank you so much. Okay, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Nehemiah, and I'm from Kennewake. Um, ever since I was born, I've had the sickness of asthma. And I couldn't, couldn't run. I would get weary. And it was taking a toll. God is a healer of all nations. And last night, he healed me from that. Amen, amen. And so, can you please tell us, you know, what can you do now that you couldn't do before last night? So, um, I got out of work at 6.30 today, and it was a ways from here. And, you know, I just gave it to God that, you know, I'd come in a hurry. So, I started running, and, you know, I'm able to breathe, you know, heavily. And I can, I don't have no pain in my lungs. I can... And I ran from from uh, where I work at, from over here, with no problem. And <laughs> it was awesome. Amen. And Nehemiah, can you demonstrate for us now how you can breathe? <sighs> okay, and I'm going to ask you to do something else, too. Um, so from, you know, when I would breathe and it would get to my capacity it would just burn and it would hurt all right here and you know for a while you know i'd try to ignore it ignore it but the pain would just be excruciating but you know i don't get that anymore you know and it's because of god you know the holy spirit he works in mysterious ways and he's able to heal he's able to heal <laughs> amen i'm gonna ask you to do one more thing for us if you guys could clear a path really quickly Clear a path. Can you please show us now how you can run all the way there and all the way back right now? Go. Woo! Let's put our hands together for wonderful Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now demonstrate. Take a breath. We want to hear you breathe. Amen. When God heals, he heals completely and he heals effectually. And that is our God. And that happened just last night. Amen, amen. Okay, we have another testimony we want to share with you guys. Okay, please tell us your name and where you're from. I'm Alina. I'm from Sacramento. <laughs> okay, Alina, can you tell us the testimony that you want to share with these lovely people tonight? Sure. Um, at the age of 12, um, I was a little bit disobedient to my parents. Um, they told me not to get on the horse, um, and I did. Um, after that, the horse took off, and um, I fell on my behind, and... Um, <laughs> Uh, so, and um, I, I noticed I started having really bad pains and complications uh, in the beginning of the high school years. I went to go get x-rays and they told me um, I had a fractured tailbone. And um, later on, the last two years of high school, I couldn't finish. So I had to actually take home school because I couldn't sit um, throughout the school period of time. Um, so the pain lingered on and, um, um, okay. Uh, <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> so um, later on, um, I lost my train of thought. Okay, um, the pain linger on, and then um, 
I, I, um, I prayed for healing many times and I felt a lot of times um, the, the sensation of heat. Uh, but for some reason afterwards, I always still felt the pain and it was really hard for me to even um, uh, go on road trips because of um, I couldn't sit for long periods of time. And then um, last, uh, last year in December, Vlad Savchuk and their um, team, they came and um, after, after the conference, I, um, uh, we went over and we had fellowship and I was like, you know what, I, I'm not going to give up since it's been 10 years since I've been praying for healing and nothing's been happening. And I was like, you know what, I, I am not going to give up. And I was like, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to ask for them to pray again. And I kept doing that. And um, this last time, the team prayed for me. Um, and um, three weeks after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get x-rays done. I was, I was just like ready to find out. And, um, and so it, it was the longest week of waiting for those x-rays to come back. And then my doctor messaged me and he was like, where there was a fracture, there's no evidence of ever ever being a fracture there and wow 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 let's put our hands together for Jesus and then I noticed um, on the bus trip here since it was like 12 hours it just it just I didn't realize it but I just realized it when I got here and I was talking to Brittany earlier today I'm like wait I, I not once did I have that pain for those 12 hours that we were driving here Wow, that is our God, an awesome healer, a mighty miracle worker. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Okay, we have another testimony. Okay, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My um, name is Ned. I'm from Sacramento. <laughs> Woo! And can you please tell us your testimony that you would like to share with us tonight? Um, a couple of years ago, um, I started noticing um, every time I came to church or any church function any prayer I always had uh, this nauseousness and I started always feeling very uncomfortable um, I also started noticing some patterns in my life that I just could not break no matter what I did it just nothing helped and um, I knew I knew I had to get delivered from something so I took every opportunity to get prayed over nothing helped um, and then in November, uh, we had a conference, in December, sorry, uh, we had a conference where um, Pastor Vlad and his team were coming over to serve us, and I told myself, this is it, like, um, this is the moment I've been waiting for, you know, and um, after the first service, I came up to Vlad, and, you know, I told him my, my situation, he's like, you know, okay, let's start praying, so he started praying for me, and um, you know, things started happening, and um, after a couple minutes, he picked me back up. He's like, no, how are you feeling? I said, you know, just a little bit more. You know, I feel, I feel better, but there's something still left. So he started praying. After a couple minutes, just I got completely delivered. Just such a clarity came, and just this burden just lifted right off. And so now that it's been about four months and you were, since you received that deliverance, how is your life like now? Oh, it's awesome. Like, it's, I experienced such a freedom where, I mean, it's, it's interesting because like even a couple of days ago, I was just looking back at how much my life has changed since that moment. Like, those patterns that I just could not break, they're just completely gone. I don't need to worry about them. I don't have to keep on struggling. Like, how do I figure this out? It's just everything's just completely gone. Amen. amen, amen. Whom the sun sets free is truly free indeed. Hallelujah. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Philip and I'm from Mount Vernon. <laughs> and can you tell us the testimony that you would like to share with these lovely people tonight? I was here and we were singing a song and then the pastor, he started to... Uh, speak about that just the old healing would overcome and uh i was standing there and as you can notice i'm like always standing and my there was a really sharp pain in my left leg because apparently my feet are a little bit inverted inwards because that's making it more uncomfortable for my feet and what happened is that sharp pain went away today and i walk over to the wall and as, as soon as i tell my mom the sharp pain comes back 
and he's, uh, the pastor starts praying even harder, and as hard as he started praying, the sharper, pain, the, sharper the pain got, and I'm like, man, this is a stubborn pain. <laughs> and I didn't know who, but there was a man somewhere here, uh, he should raise his hand, but he came over, laid his hands on me, and that pain went away, and I couldn't believe myself because my whole life I've never experienced like an, a healing that I could see happen there that in that moment. And it was just amazing for me because I finally told God, I'm like, I don't care how you heal me right now. I just want to be healed either it's long term, instant, and it happened instantly. And so I'm, Amen. praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And please show us now what you can do that you couldn't do before. I can bend my leg, I can jump, I can, I can just, I feel so free now. Like that just, that affected me just of my personality because inside I thought I had like a burden and I was not normal. Amen, amen, amen. Truly, thank you, Jesus, is the response of a happy heart. Hallelujah. All right, and we have more people who would like to share today. Okay, please, can you tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Alice and I'm from Mount Vernon. And can you tell us the problem that you were having and the testimony that you would like to share with us? Um, so we got a, in a car accident. My fam well, A few of us in my family got in a car accident a few years back. And I got really bad pains in my back. And it even hurt once in a while to breathe deeply. And um, so today when we were praying, right, as soon as we said amen, my back just instantly, like, I just, it was, it didn't hurt. There was no pain just at that instant. And wow. And can you please show us right now uh, what you can do that you weren't able to do before? Well, I can breathe really deeply and it doesn't even hurt anymore. Sure. And can you bend forward and touch your toes for me, please? And do you have any pain right now? No. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our awesome Jesus. Amen. All right. So can you please tell us your name and where you're from? So my name is Brianna, and I'm actually here from Kennewick. Um, so actually, I came like about three, four weeks ago, and uh, Pastor Vlad was praying for healing as well. And he kept saying, I remember him saying, you know, he was like back pain. And he kept saying all these pains. And I'm like, that's, I don't have any of that. And I was just like, no, I'm not going to pray. And then he's like, anxiety. And that was the last one he said. And I was just like, how does he know? And I, I felt like he was talking to me. And I was like, how does he know that I have that? And it was something that was, has been with me for maybe about a year and a half already. And I can't even sit at a restaurant. I can't even do anything because I start thinking someone's gonna come in, something's gonna happen to me. In the morning, my parents would wake up and say they're going to work. And I was like, I cried to my dad one day and I latched on and I was like, don't go. And he's like, why? And I was like, I don't wanna be by myself. And I was just scared. I was, I was afraid. I, was, I don't even know what I was scared of. And so it started getting really bad where I couldn't even sleep. And as, as soon as I would sleep, I started getting really worried. I would, um, I just, couldn't sleep and so I knew it was crazy though that the, when I would wake up I knew that the first thing I had to do was pray and I would pray and I prayed I prayed I prayed and my mom would read the Bible to me and I'd fall asleep and not because it was boring but it was just soothing to me it was a way of me to sleep and so when Pastor Vlad um, prayed for the anxiety I prayed and I felt just crazy and I was just like I felt fine and then um like I said it was something that was a burden to me it's like I didn't want to talk about it and actually after it was, I came um, mir um miracle catch is that what it's called <laughs> I came that night and um we went to the back and actually Solomita talked to me and she was like just asking me all these questions and I was just like she why, why does she want to know all these things and I was like but it was weird because I think she was the first person I had ever told that I had that anxiety you know besides my parents and so as I was talking to her and I was like just letting it all go I felt like I went home and I told my mom I was like this girl was just like asking about me and she was telling about me she cared about me and she wasn't looking at me weird or funny like this girl has anxiety like I don't know and I just felt like I think one thing that I wanted to say is anxiety is a you know is a problem it's not a it's not something that's just because he's praying for pain that is a, something that you can pray for yourself too and I've been healed of it and I I could I can now worship and I can be here and I can talk in front of people and I let them know that 
I had that anxiety not be ashamed of it. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. So, so now you mean to say that you have no more anxiety, no more fear, and does your mom have to read to you at night? <laughs> well, I mean, I like to read all the time, so before I go to bed, yeah, I'll try to read, you know, a few Bible verses just to ease my mind, but as far as, like, I, it was to the point where literally I was at home by myself, and I was checking every window, I was making sure every door was locked, and it was just something that was just always on me, no matter where I was, if I was even in public, or if I was driving, I had to pull over, and I had to stop, and now I'm actually, like, talking with people, and, you know, making friends, and talking about it, and not being ashamed of it so amen amen let's put our hands together one more time for our awesome jesus he truly is the mighty deliverer and the son of our salvation we are so grateful that we serve a mighty god amen